today. Welcome to BanjoBenClark.com. I'm Banjo Ben, your host here on the website to teach you how to play banjo. Mandolin, this week is Guitar Week. I've had this one requested quite a few times, so decided to uh, do a little study on it. This is Cat on the Cane. I think it has a couple other names too, but it's a really old song. It's really cool because it switches between major and minor. And I've got about a 20 minute lesson for you. I'm going to teach you this straight ahead melody version, but we're also going to talk about how some other guitar players out there spice it up a bit, and then we're going to spend some time on uh, talking about the rhythm as well. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube here in a moment, I'll ask you to come over to the website, banjobenclark.com. You can join as a Gold Peak member. That gives you access to hundreds of lessons, just like this one, uh, as well as tabs. And um, like this song here, I've got tabs and also three speeds of MP3 rhythm tracks. I'd be honored to have you on board. Let's jump right into Cattle on the Cane. Cattle in the Cane. This is a really cool song. This is a, one that I was uh, very familiar with until I sat down to write this solo for it. So it's been a good learning experience. But this is a typical uh, fiddle tune in that it has an A part that's eight bars long, then it'll repeat it. Then it has a B part that's eight bars long, and it will repeat that for a total of 32 bars. Uh, but the, the biggest difference between the A part and the B part is that the A part is an A major. But the B part, you'll notice, goes to A minor. So that's really cool. We'll go over the chords uh, later on as we play it really slowly. But let's go ahead and throw up the first line of tab there. This is the straight ahead melody I'm going to give you, but we're also going to talk about how some other folks like Tony Rice uh, spice this one up a little bit. Uh, if you've seen my videos before, you're familiar with it. If not, we've got those little black arrows beneath each one of the notes. That's just simply our uh, pick hand pick directions, down arrows, a down stroke, up arrows, an up stroke. And we're going to start here. There's no introduction. We're just going right into that first A part. And I want you to slide into the second fret with your index finger. And that's going to be a pretty quick slide in the whole scheme of things. And then we've got a little syncopated rhythm here to start it out. This is what the fiddles do whenever it plays this song. It sounds like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and... And then I want you to get in this partial A shape for the last beat of measure one. And we're going to do a reverse roll, reverse forward roll. It sounds like this. That's another thing about this tune is it's going to really test our pick hand accuracy because there's quite a bit of cross picking licks in here. But measure one, going into measure two, it just sounds like this. And two and three and four and one and two. Let me just do a little melodic lick in two here. And then the next chord that we go to is a G chord, okay, that dominant seventh. Um, and so here uh, there's a very specific lick that you want to try to get that I've noticed that most of the guitar players who play this get it. And we're going to do it a little bit different just because I want to make it my own. Uh, but we're going to start on the second string, pick back to the third, slide from two to four, keep that down, play the third fret, do a forward roll, and then a backwards roll, and then measure four, we're going to hammer it on. I'm going to leave my index finger down, but hammer that on and then play your fifth fret with your ring finger. And that's the, real, the, the little uh, lick that everybody gets. Get it various different ways. Let me play measures one through four, a little slow. Uh, we'll do it much slower later on. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four. Three, four. And that last note is is just a, a long um, half note held out. 
Um, now, one thing that we could do to kind of spice this up that a lot of people do is the very first note. Instead of just sliding into that second fret, a lot of times people will sweep through or brush through an A chord up through the second string. Okay, you might play it with the last three fingers. Which gives it just more of a, a full sound. I chose not to do it just because I wanted to keep it more simple. You know, as we get into measure five, we, the first part um, of this second half of the A part uh, sounds the same. But now when we're, whenever we go up for that little scale lick, melodic lick in measure six, we're going to go all the way up to the fifth fret and then repeat that in measure seven, three, two, open, three, and then I gave you a little um, kind of Irish Celtic sounding ornament here uh, that Tony Rice does in his version. We're going to do a little 16th note pull off here uh, from three to two. So measure seven slowly. One and two and three and four. And. So you got to make sure that that pull off goes twice as fast as the rest of your eighth notes. That's too difficult, you can just play the second fret there, don't do the pull off. Okay, and then here in measure eight, I want you to bar the second fret. Let me play five through eight. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Now that's one time through an A part, that's eight bars.